Welcome to Python Beginner 4, Selection. Every video will have all slideshows and code available in the description. Selection is the second main concept that makes up a program. We have already learnt the first, which is sequence. Sequence represents the programming executing line after line. Selection is the concept of choices, allowing the program to decide, to decide based on a Boolean expression whether to execute a certain block of code or to not. In Python, this is through the use of the if statement. If you've learnt any other languages, you'll have also have heard of the switch or case statement. Python does not have this. So, to better help, help us understand the concept of selection, let's write our first if statement. Now, like the last tutorial, let's create a Python file. Let's call this toot4.py and open it in your favorite text editor. So this program, we will enter a number into a variable and then compare that number to zero. If the number we input was zero, then our program will output the number is zero. Then we'll print out the, out the number the user entered. So in our, in our file, let's create it, toot4.py. Now, we want to get a number from the user, so into a variable, oops, into a variable called num. We want to get an integer, and we want to use raw underscore input, open brackets, and the prompt, please enter a number, and close brackets. Now let's write our if statement. So we write if open brackets num so the number that the user has inputted is equal to which we use two equal signs to represent is equal to zero then we use a colon to continue the if statement and we indent the next line so we press tab once to indent once now on the indentation we write what we wanted to want want the program to do if the number is equal to equals to zero. So let's print out the number is zero. Now let's exit our statement. So we go back to the first, the very left hand side of our document and we write print num so we can at least see what the person inputted afterwards if they didn't to zero. Okay now let's save our program and run it. So python tute4.py Now if we put input 0 which will be the, which will make the if statement true because num is equal to 0 we get the number is 0. If we run the program again but this time we put in anything but 0 so we say we put in 5 the program won't output the number is 0 but we'll still get the output 5, which we did on the last line. Okay, so the common comparison operators that you'll use for Boolean expression is is equal to, which is double equal sign, not equal to, which is an exclamation mark and equal sign, and there's another not equal to, which does the exact, exact same thing, which is the less than and the greater than sign. And then just by itself, the greater than sign. So if the left number is greater than the right, then it's true. And then we have the less than sign. So if the left hand side is less than the right hand side, then it's true. And then we have greater than or, or equal to. And we have less than or equal to. Now let's write another, another uh, program. We'll edit our script file. And we'll enter a number into a variable, like we did in the last uh, program. And we'll compare that number to zero. If the number we input was not zero, then our program will output the number is not zero. So we're just changing our if statement. So let's open up our, our uh, program, and we'll edit it. So we want to change our if statement. So rather than uh, num equals 
equals zero, we want exclamation mark equals for not equals. And then we want to change our print statement to the number is not zero. And then we can save. And now we can test our program. So if we enter zero, we'll notice we get no output, we just get the zero. So if we run it again, but this time we put in the five, we get the number is not zero. So we can put any value in here. We can try putting in 1000 and the number is still not zero. Okay. So let's also try uh, doing using the greater than operator. So for this, we'll edit our script file again. The number is inputted by the user and we compare it, compare it to zero. If the number we input is greater than zero, then we'll output the number is greater than zero. So let's open up and edit our file again. And we want to change our if statement once more. And this time we're just replacing the exclamation mark equals with a great, greater than sign. So if the left hand side is greater than the right hand side, output the number is greater than zero. So we change our print to greater than zero. And we can save our program. And now we can print out our program. So now if we enter something like zero, we still get nothing. But if we enter anything above zero, 355, we get the number is greater than zero. If we run it again and we put in a negative this time, so negative 50, we get just negative 50. It doesn't output that it's greater than zero. <coughs> now, while this is good, there's also the else statement, or the else clause, which allows us to execute another block of code if the if results in false. So if this expression is false, do this instead rather than do what we originally wanted. So let's edit our current code and we'll enter a number into a variable and then compare that number to zero. If the number we input is greater than zero, then our, output, our program will output the number is greater than zero. Otherwise, so our else, else, the program will output the number is zero or less. This is because if it's not greater than zero, then it must be zero or less. So let's change our program. We open it up to edit. And at the end of our print line, we go down to the next line. On the very left hand side, the same level as our if, we do else. And we do a colon. And we go down to the next line and we tab in once to indicate a new block of code and we print the number is zero or less. And now we can save our program again and we run it. So now if we put in five, the number is greater than zero. If we put in zero or anything below zero, so zero, the number is zero or less. Let's try it again with negative number, negative 50, the number is zero or less. So now you can see that it's if the number is greater than zero, it'll output the number is greater than zero, else it will output the number is zero or less. Now, we can also combine the else statement with the if statement, creating the else if statement, so the else if statement. The syntax is if this expression is true, do something. Else, if this expression is true, do this. Else, do this instead. So if the first two else, uh, ifs and else ifs fails, it'll do the else statement. So let's edit our program. And this time we'll make it so that our program will check if the number is greater than zero or less than zero or if the number is zero. So let's open up our file, our program again and 
we want to in between our if and our else we want to add an l if so the first two letters of else and then if open brackets num is less than zero close brackets and we do our colon just like an if statement tab in one indentation point print the number is less than zero close quotes and then we'll edit our print statement in our uh, in our program and we'll make the print say the number is zero because if the number is is not greater than zero and the number is not less than zero then it must be zero so let's save this and let's try running it so we put in a positive number above zero we get the number is greater than zero we run it again and this time we put in zero we get the number is zero and we run it one more time and we put in negative five we get the number is less than zero now let's do something a little bit more interesting let's edit our script file one last time and what we'll do is we'll enter a number into one variable and then enter another number into an, another variable if the first number is greater than the second number we output the number is greater than the second we also output the difference so how many how many numbers are there between uh, our two numbers entered if the first number we input is less than the second number so we output the number is less than the second then if then we are uh, oh wait otherwise we output they are equal so our else or our otherwise we output they are equal because if it's not less because similar to our last else if if it's not less than and it's not greater than then it must be equal so let's edit our program and we need to input a second number so let's change our first number our first variable to num1 and then we'll you can copy and paste this first line or you can rewrite it out like I will num2 equals int raw underscore input quotes please enter a second number number and then we'll close the brackets off and then we change our if statement so if num uh, needs to be num1 is greater than num2 the number is greater than the second number we change our print statement to make it so the number is greater than the second number and we change our elif to num1 is less than num2 and we change our print statement to the number is less than the second number and and for our else we need to change the change the print statement to they are equal and we can remove our print num at the end because we're always going to get an output now I also mentioned that we're going to output the difference so the difference is one number minus the other so generally you have the larger number minus the smaller number that way you get a positive uh, answer so what we're going to do is print the difference the difference is space close quotes and then we're going to add on to the end of the answer so plus and we use str to indicate we're turning a number into a string open up brackets num1 minus num2 close brackets so what this is doing is because we know that num1 is greater than the second we minus num2 from this from num1 and get the result 
so that way we have a positive answer and we can add change our else if to print the difference is close quotes plus str to turn our number into a string num2 minus num1 and the reason it's reversed this time is because number one is less than num2 because we want a positive out a yeah a positive output we swap them around so that we don't have to use any other functions okay so now let's save our program and run it okay so please enter a number, let's put 8. Please enter a second number, let's put 4. The number is greater than the second number, the difference is 4. Cool, so it's worked, that first if statement's working. Let's test the second else if. So let's enter 4, and the second number will go with 6 this time. The number is less than the second number. Yep, that's correct. And the difference is 2. Yep, that's correct as well. Awesome. Now let's check what happens when they're equal. So we'll put in 5, and we'll put 5 again. They are equal. Cool. So if you want, you can edit this program to uh, state that the difference is 0. Or you can just leave, ha leave it how it is. So this concludes our look at selection in Python. Don't fear if you don't remember all of this. You can easily come back and rewatch this video to consolidate all the information. If you have any questions and you can't find the answer after a quick Google search, feel free to leave them in the comments. Next, we'll be covering functions. Thanks for watching.